we decided to make the, the first feature a hill because the higher the first hill is, the more, the more potential energy it will have when it goes down. The second hill, we decided, I mean the second feature we decided to make is a hill, hill I mean drop, because it will have more kinetic energy. The third hill we, will, we decided to do, I mean the feature it, we decided to do is a drop off because we have not done another feature. There is contact force between the marble and the wall because um because when it goes down it will have more protection. The roller coaster car has more potential energy at the top of the hill because it will have be in the highest point. The roller coaster car has the most kinetic energy at the bottom when it's really when it's ready to go up the second hill. As the car goes down the first hill, potential energy changes to kinetic energy. As the car goes up the second feature, the kinetic energy changes to potential energy. During the roller coaster, some energy is lost as it goes down through the hills because it will go, it will slow down. There is friction between the marble and the wall because when it hits over here, um, it bounces back. An example of Newton's first law on a roller coaster is when I push it, the marble down the first tail because it will have to stay in motion. And, and set, an example of Newton's second law of motion on a roller coaster is my starting hill higher because it will have more kinetic energy to go down the hill. An example of Newton's third law of motion on our roller coaster is if I build a wall at the end of the roller coaster because the ball will bounce back because of and because of the all the pressure of the ball is going on. Right. There is more potential energy at the top of the roller coaster. And um, when it's going down, it loses the potential energy and turns into kinetic energy. Good job.